good things. So season six, it's yes. obviously your, your last season, we know now. I know. Um, bittersweet, oh, or yes. do you think it is the right time? Um, probably like a combination of both. It was interesting when they um, announced at San Diego Comic Con that it was going to be the last season because we know that, you know, we had these 10 episodes to make really, really count. And Jeff and the writers, and you know, with our input, they're, they're really trying. Now we get to pick and choose our ending instead of just ending after season six. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think we all kind of maybe in our hearts wanted a season seven, but now we have, you know, all these amazing, um, you know, actors that started when they were 18 and, and young, and, you know, Lyndon and I, old. <laughs> we get to go out there and, and tell new stories, and that's, that's amazing too. So, oh, we were just in the elevator and two guys flipped out. They were like, oh my God, there's Johnny Cage. <laughs> oh my God. I know. They literally took, they were like, Johnny Cage. And they were saying all these quotes from the movie. It was amazing. It was amazing. What a throwback. I know, right? So what are you excited to do after the show wraps up? Like anything like new you want to explore? No, you know, it, it's interesting. The life of an actor is one that you're always on the hustle. You're always on the grind. And so I think... What will probably happen is we'll wrap, it won't feel real, and then five months from then, when you know we're supposed to be going back, I'll be like, where's my team wolf? Why isn't anybody calling me to be on set? So I think it's one of those things that you, it really kind of lands probably afterwards. Does that make sense? Because when you're in it, when we're in it now, we're enjoying it, we're able to experience people and friends and you know all that kind of stuff, and then I think it's the, the time that you have away from it, it's like, oh wow. What am I going to do now? A lot of crochet. I don't crochet. That was a joke. <laughs> so, work. Um, you know, I know yours are still working on the, the episodes for the second part. Where would you like to see, you know, this, uh, you know, your character go and wrap up her you know, story? You know, that's a really great question. Um, when I think about Teen Wolf, when I when I started, when I got the call. Literally, this is what they said. My managers were on the phone with me and they said, listen, you're not the first choice, <laughs> okay, for this character. But a lot of the other actresses don't want to travel to Atlanta to work. I happen to be from Atlanta, so I was like, sign me up. And they said, well, don't worry about it. If it, if it doesn't work out, it's okay, because they're probably only gonna have the parents around for three episodes, and then they'll just get rid of them. Well, now, 100 episodes later, here we are parents extremely involved um, and, and, and it's a great credit to Jeff you know bringing the parents around in season two to know what's going on in the supernatural world and because of that I think all of our characters have been able to experience so much more you know what I mean I mean all the twists and turns and who's and what's and supernatural and help, helping out and real life drama and not having enough money and how am I gonna get my kid through college and like all of these things and so I feel like personally I've been very lucky for this journey, and in these last 10 episodes, wherever my character, wherever Mama McCall ends up, it'll just be a gift. Because literally, anything after that fourth episode for me has been a gift. Really. What's so odd, I can't think of anyone else playing this role because you've become such an integral part, and you know, the parents, they have played such a key role in giving that balance and showing that these are still, you know, real teenagers dealing with you know, the real life issues and then the supernatural. So how's it been playing off of when you finally got in the know of that side? Was that something that you found exciting to finally be in the know of the supernatural side? Now? Yes, it was. It was very exciting because part of my process, I don't know, everybody's process is a little different with these things. I wouldn't read the full script. Because partly because I was a fan of the show and you always want to like look forward to something if you know everything. That's not be fun if you're a fan. Um, and then also I thought that, you know, she couldn't be too informed. Because I really think that that kind of reads in a person's performance if you kind of know all this supernatural stuff is happening. So for me, it opened up a whole, like, another level because I was able to read the scripts and really kind of know what was going on rather than just watching the show as a fan. Um, and so that was a, you know, an amazing moment. And I also think an amazing moment for um, the fans to kind of embrace the parents and really know that they were going to be inclusive as well. And they did, and it's it's been amazing. It's a real gift. Uh, Questions over here? Just please.
Yes. Shout them out. Uh, are we going to have any like parent to parent moments now that Styles is missing since he's the one in trouble again? We had, because you and uh, Lumen's character, they always kind of bonded over the fact that their children are the ones in the right. middle of all the danger. Right. But now if we've forgotten Styles, can we expect anything? Like, are you going to try and help? We do. Uh, there, 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 are, there are more moments and there is more collective you know, screen time for the parents this, this season. And I think that was really smart of them to bring them back because we were heavily involved in season three. And then season four, season five, you know, parents kind of were there, but not as present, you know, kind of moving the story along. Hey, is everything good? All right, all right, I'll be back because I got to go back to the hospital, you know. Um, now it's a little bit more involved. Uh, we're back in the scooping of it, trying to, you know, figure out what's going on, trying to help our kids, and, and, and that's a lot of fun. What was it like? I mean, I know you're from Atlanta. Yeah. It's shot, it's shot there, shot in LA. Like, do you have a favorite? Like, what were the best parts that you took away from like, each like, filming like, location? Well, what was amazing in Atlanta is that the original Beacon Hills was uh, literally a two-minute walk from my house. <laughs> and so we would go and we would shoot at the high school, and I would literally walk back home. And, um, and what's amazing now is that I have that memory. Every time I go to Target, I go to Target and I look across and I'm like, there's old Beacon Hills. Um, but it was amazing to shoot in your own hometown. I mean, I had that experience with The Walking Dead as well. Um, you know, you get, you get hired for this show and... You don't know what you're doing, like they physically don't have not handed you a script, you don't know what you're doing, and then you walk onto a set and you know the entire crew because you've worked with somebody on some Chick-fil-A in corporate industrial 15 years ago and everybody's like, yo, Ponzio! And you're like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Um, and so those things are amazing, to be able to work with your crew and cast family that you, you've had interaction with over the last few years. And that happened on Team too. too. So that, that's amazing. One of my friends, you're talking about the sheriff, right? One of my friends actually said to me, it's very true, and I pass this on to Joe, the only ship that the entire fandom can agree on <laughs> is Mama McCall and the sheriff, right? And when I told it to him, seriously, he was like, <laughs> I'm never going to go to the world. Right now. Um, but here's where, you know, two, two quick things. Are we okay on time? Yes. Okay. Two quick things. Um, I feel like when you have two people that are coming together, any characters that are on the show, like you can get all the way up to here, but as soon as that happens, it's over. So for me, it's about all the dancing to get there, right? All of that tension and all that flirtiness and all that fun. Because as soon as you kiss and it's on, it's like, what's next? You know what I mean? Um, so there's that. But also, when we start at 5A and they and they call up and they talk to the actors like, what do you want? What do you, you know, who do you want to work with? What are your thoughts and all that kind of stuff? You know, the whole thing about you know the romance came about, and they said, well, what do you think? Who, who would it be? And I took a short pause and I said, is there anything wrong with a woman not having a man in her life? Because I think it's really important to let people, kids, however know that it's okay. You, you do not have to be in a relationship. No one has to be in a relationship. And you can be just as strong, and you can be just as worthy, and you can be um, just as influential. And Lyndon and I have talked about it. It's like if you have, you're, you're a single parent, and you're trying to raise your kid, and you're trying to make a career, maybe the last thing that you'd be doing is dating. Hello. Food for thought. <laughs> Food for thought, people. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.